These four products bring in thousands of dollars per month and they all have one thing in common. And you'll also find this in the majority of the top shops on Etsy. So there's two different things that you can do to differentiate yourself when selling on Etsy that will help you get some more sales or that you can use this to your advantage because not all of your competitors are doing this because it can be a hassle. So there's two different things that you can do to stand out in the marketplace. A lot of people like to use print on demand and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You can get a whole lot of sales by doing so. However, sometimes if you fulfill in house, you can fulfill a product that majority of print on demand platforms do not have. Printify has 900 plus products, but although they have lots and lots of products, but sometimes there's placements when it comes to printing that the platform does not provide. And that's how you can be more unique and you can capture sales that your competitors are not willing to put in the extra work to do. For example, a print around the collar is doing really well right now or print towards the bottom. Those are a few options that print on demand platforms do not have. However, we can still leverage it and we'll talk about it at a later time. But number Number two is personalization. Now here's a whole nother thing that a lot of other sellers also don't like to incorporate because it can be difficult to manage all these orders with different names, different dates, different anniversaries, and so on. But I'm gonna show you an easy way about doing that. If you're new here, my name is Rich. I've done multiple seven figures online, lots and lots of sales on Etsy as I've shown on the channel in the past, multiple times showing my sales over and over. So this isn't just another channel where I'm just giving you guys something that's theory, but something that's actually proven. If you're interested in getting coach for Etsy sales like some of my six and seven figure students, even my past student Mitchell who doubles sales month over month just recently hit over $50,000 in sales. Feel free to click the link down below to apply to be coached. However, let's get straight to the video. So we look at these four products. This one right here has a customized name. We see Brian, Piper or Pepper, Ellie, Jason, Ava, and so on. So we do have the personalization option. Now here's another product right here, which also incorporates personalization and does look like they do make it in-house just considering the embroidery and the placement of the actual embroidery itself. So they're doing two different things that makes them really stand out and they're doing a great job at it. Now, even though they're doing it in-house, this personalization tool still makes it really easy to manage orders. Now here's another product right here which is a cutting board once again it does also have the names and then we also have a date now if we look at this one this one just has a simple name change and this one is doing over $24,000 a month in sales which is crazy now if we really look at it you are the best thing I've ever found on the internet love Kayla so pretty much this is a really nice gift for someone who met their significant other on the internet obviously that's a normal thing nowadays not when I was growing up but that's besides the point so let's go ahead and do a full walkthrough tutorial for this so that you guys know exactly how you can create this design and then also make the personalization really easy. So here I am on printify.com. I'm just gonna go to the mug. And then as you can see, I have really nice low pricing. If you don't have this, you can type in code Hustle Ninjas whenever you sign up for Printify and it should give you this premium price for at least one month. So here we have the 11 ounce mug. I'm just gonna click start designing. Mind you, you can pretty much use any mug that you would like. I'm just gonna go with this one for the sake of the example. I'm gonna click start designing. And then over here on this left side, it says download design template so i'm going to download that now here i have the 11 ounce design template on adobe illustrator you can use whatever design platform you want to use also it's how i'm a most proficient with photoshop and illustrator but i do showcase lots of different tools across the channel canva kittle and so on just because i know everyone learns differently so depending on what platform you use there may be a few tweaks that you will have to do in order to create the perfect same outcome so here we have our guide as locked up i'm just going to go ahead and remove that for now just so that i can see we're going to click the text tool i'm just gonna go ahead and drag along here i'm gonna paste in that quote one close font that i found similar to it is called mallow so now i'm gonna go ahead and click this right here No, we're just pretty much going to resize it. All right, now hit Control T. Now we have our letting and kerning and all of that. And we can control it right here. That's the size. And there we have that. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the text tool once again. Just go type in Molly. I'm going to resize that a little bit. Maybe down to 40. And we need a little heart right here. Illustrator does have uh, AI now. I haven't used it too much though. We're going to try it out. Two part and ring. As you can see, I had to agree some because it's my first hunt. Okay, that's not exactly what I was looking for, but it will do. It'll probably be interesting. We put it behind the entire day like that. The link hit for range, sim to bet. Okay, maybe not. Let's try it one more time. Okay, it's still popping up the same thing. 
sure a lot of you guys probably already know how to find a heart on the internet but we'll just go ahead and go with that for now all right so now i'm gonna go back to my layers i'm gonna pull this one up and what's important is that we need to look at the safe area and where like the bleed is because if we upload this and we're across this area although it says we have all of this area to design with when it comes to printing it could get cut off if it's not within the safe margins so i'm just going to resize it slightly more and i'm kind of centering it with this path right here and i'm also going to copy and paste this onto the other side all right so now for this text right here because we don't need this personalized we're just going to hit type and create outlines and we're going to do the same thing for this one right here type and create outlines all right so now i'm going to save my file as a pdf and a jpeg all right so the reason why i said save as a jpeg earlier is because they don't take pdf directly on printify but we really only need this image just for mock-up purposes so you know just so that printify has something for the time being as a placeholder so here we have it i'm just gonna go ahead and resize this quality does look a little low maybe we didn't save it as 300 dki let's go back all right so here we have it also probably a little late now but whenever you're saving your image also make sure you're saving it at 300 dpi 300 dpi is for print 72 dpi is for screen resolution before what you're viewing right now on your computer or phone whatever it may be but you want to do 300 dpi for print so now i'm going to click save product and then of course we'll want to edit all of these in the future we'll want to edit you know the mock-up the titles and all of those things but right now what i'm going to show you after i click publish is i want to show you how to make personalization easy so here i have my product once again of course you want to change titles pictures all of that and optimize your actual listing but just for for now uh what i want to show you guys is once you come on down over here here you keep scrolling we scroll to right here it says add personalization all right so here we have enter the name that you would like and then we're just going to hit publish changes so this makes it so that the customer can type in their personalized name for the product however the main issue is that fact that it's not going to change the design image for us typically we would still manually have to go back to the same image in adobe illustrator rechange their name and re-upload the file to printify so that they will print and ship it to the customer but we're going to do something a little bit different and this right here is probably going to help you get a whole lot of sales so this right here is called hello custom it will automatically personalize numbers names dates and addresses i should also have a coupon down below if you guys want to get started with this but one cool new feature that hello custom has provided now i can add all the other three etsy shops now you can manage more than one etsy shop on here at first it was a pain because you can only do one etsy per account but now you can add on as many as that you need all right so if you don't know how to do the template you can watch this tutorial here i'm going to do my best to give you guys a tutorial now that i'm on here i'm going to click on add new click select pdf and then you're going to upload that pdf that i told you guys to download earlier all right so here the software automatically already picks up which one is like text blocks now you see where we have our names right here i'm going to click on it click tags click name do the same thing over here click tag click name but they don't have the actual font in their software so what we can do is add our own font so we'll click add and then upload the font file So now we're going to upload it. Now we're going to come over here, do the same thing, click on font, click on document fonts, and boom, there we have it. Now I'm just going to hold shift for both of them. We're going to group the files together. I don't think you necessarily have to do that, but I'm just going to do it anyways. Now, before we save it, we'll have to name this uh, file. And then we'll click on product variants, and then we'll attach it to that same print on demand printify file that's in our Etsy shop. Now we're just gonna click on that, click update, click publish as active. Now, when someone purchased the mug from our actual Etsy store, it will pop up in our queue for approvals and we will see the name automatically change. We don't have to sit there and open the file and change the name every single time. That's the beauty of personalization. You can add on more money to your bottom line on your top products on products that you're not currently offering personalization and add this directly on top of it without being a hassle to you. And if you're still doing fulfillment in-house, as I mentioned earlier, we saw the embroidery hoodie with the date and the custom text for the names for the sleeves. Although you're not doing Printify or Print on Demand, you can still use this. That way it can automatically create the file for you. And if you're sending it to your printing machine, DTF or embroidery machine, you'll already have the file that you can just automatically upload instead of you still having to manually type in every single change all of the time. So if this video helped you out, hit subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.